Gentlemen, this is a situation. You get a call at work and a meteor has struck your house. You rush home, everyone's fine, but in your closet where your beautiful shoe collection used to be is now a smoking crater. Guys, you get to start over and you go to Real Men Real Style and you see, hey, do they have a video for me? Of course we do. Guys, five shoes that should be in every stylish man's wardrobe. Now, gents, you don't have to lose your entire shoe collection to a catastrophic event to be able to use this information. No, if you've just graduated college, maybe you've gotten a new job that has you customer facing. If you've gotten out of the military and you're going into sales, or perhaps you're starting your own company, you're going into a bank, you know that people oftentimes look at your shoes and they make a snap judgment of who you are, where you come from. So you want your shoes and you know they need to look great. Well, guys, this video is for you because I talk about which five shoes you should have in your wardrobe and in what order to buy them. Now, this video is brought to you by Jay Orocha. And you guys know I love Jay Orocha. I've worked with him for almost two years. I know the founder, Jose Luis. And specifically, I talked to him about two things. I said that, you know, if you're going to put some shoes out there, how about you give my audience a lifetime guarantee on the sole? Basically, guys, if you run through this sole, you send it right back to them and they will build it. They will replace it for free. What other, there is no other company that's going to offer that. In addition, use the code RMRS for a huge discount. They're not going to always be able to do this. In fact, right now, if you go over and check them out, they've got three pairs of shoes that they are making from the same leather. You're seeing them right here. I have the prototypes. I've been working with them because I said, you know, there needs to be one company a guy can go to and get an entire collection at a great fair price, have a guarantee basically with the sole. Oh, and by the way, if you grab all three of those, you're going to get a free belt worth almost a hundred bucks. Guys, that's it. Let's get, I'm going to talk about them at the end of the video, but let's get into the content. The number one shoe on my list, gentlemen, is the classic Oxford. I'm going to tell you why and then I'm going to go into the details of what makes this shoe an Oxford. First off, the why, because this is the shoe that goes with your suit. And if you're wearing a suit, you need to look good. And I know many of you guys don't wear suits very often, but the point is when you wear a suit, you need to look good because it's a sign of respect. If you're going to someone's wedding, if you're going to somebody's funeral, if you are meeting with the president of your company, you're meeting with a local state senator. This is what it's about, guys. When you are putting your best foot forward, this is the pair of shoes. Now, with the classic Oxford, let's talk now about the details. Let's look at the style and the design. What the closed lacing system is the first characteristics that you want to notice here. That's where the vamp goes over the top here part of the shoe. We've also got, you know, notice my straight lacing, which uh, you can go check on YouTube. I've got a great video for straight lacing. We've usually got a leather sole. The cap toe is going to be fine on it as well, but if you see it without the cap toe, that's going to be just a tad dressier. Now let's talk really quick about what you can wear this with. This particular color right here with a full grain leather, a little bit of texture on it, I can still wear with a navy suit and a tie and it's going to look great. A lot of guys, they're going to gravitate towards black and the reason being is black, if shined properly, can actually be worn with black tie. So you can take it up another notch. What I don't like about black is it's hard to wear it and take it down. For me, you could still wear this with a sports jacket and maybe a pair of gray flannel trousers. I think that would look great. So for me, in my lifestyle and my wardrobe, this works good. Number two on my list, gentlemen, is the semi broke. And if you wear a suit often, you wear a sports jacket, maybe a blazer, this is going to be a great shoe for you to rotate in with the Oxford. And it shares a lot of characteristics with the Oxford. We're looking at the, uh, the closed lacing system, although sometimes you will see an open lacing. You're also going to see the heel. We're going to see oftentimes a leather sole, maybe a cap toe. But there are some key differences with the semi brogue versus the Oxford. One of them, as in the name, we're going to see broguing. And broguing is actually leather work. So you sometimes have it right here on the surface. This leather work doesn't go all the way through the actual leather. Other times it's going to go deeper. It makes this shoe less formal than a classic Oxford without the leather work. Uh, also, we're going to see this in lighter colors because it's a more of an informal shoe. You're oftentimes going to see this in a wider range of colors, sometimes even with mixed leathers. But in general, for the semi broke, what we're looking for is the leather work in the design. I love this because you can wear this with jeans. You can maybe wear it with a nice button down so it can go down in terms of 
the casual level of your wardrobe. You can also wear this with a casual suit, maybe a dark colored navy with a maybe a floral shirt with no tie, nice pocket square. Wear these shoes with it. They're going to get you compliments. That's why I love this. But you know, if you've got a really casual wardrobe, you're going to find that this thing's probably going to go farther down the list for you. Number three on my list, gentlemen, is the loafer. This example right here is a split toe penny loafer. You're going to tell by this design right in here, we've got the split toe. Loafers in general are going to be much more casual. This is going to be more for the casual suit, sports jacket and jeans, sports jacket and odd trousers. It can also be worn with a nice button down and jeans. So it's very versatile, it can be dressed up, dressed down. It's not going to be able to go to the highest level event. The great thing about the loafer and why I gravitate towards it, if you are a business traveler, going through security, you slip these things off, you slip them back on, very simple to take on and off. If you're going to be driving a long distance, you know, you can slip them off. They're comfortable. They are incredibly versatile and you know, they come in a wide range of colors. I like the first pair that I'm looking at to go with a solid dark color leather. And if you find that you wear these, you're getting a lot of miles out of them. Then you start to go for other variations like, you know, with suede, maybe go for something a little bit lighter colored, go for something that maybe even has a little bit of accent here on the stitching. The split toe is not required. This just happens to be this style, but there are many options out here. Guys, the thing with the loafer though, make sure to own a pair. Number four on my list, gentlemen, is going to be the dress boot. You got a couple options here. Definitely look at the Chelsea. It's a very simple slip on boot that actually was made popular by the Beatles. It can be dressed up, dressed down, so you can wear it with, I think, a casual light colored suit. You can also wear it with a pair of jeans and a button down. So the Chelsea, great option, especially if you travel. Uh, very similar to the loafer, easily take it on and off before you enter security. Now, this boot right here is the chukka. It descends from the desert boot. A pair of dress chukkas, though, are going to have some key distinctions from the, uh, from the desert boot. What you're going to notice is three eyelets and it's going to be made from a usually a solid colored leather. You will see these in suede as well. What we want to look at is a nice little heel here. It's going to be made from leather, the sole, and we want a nice elegant design. You are going to see some chukkas out there. They're going to be a bit more a bit clumsy, I would say, in the front here. You want to avoid those because those are not dress shoes and you're not going to be able to match them with your sports jackets. And that's what I love about this shoe in particular is it's got a bit of a rugged elegance because of its history. Therefore, I can wear this with a sports jacket, pair of jeans, nice button down. It looks great. Take the jacket off. I can still pull this off, but you can also wear this with a casual suit. Once you go above casual though in the suit, we're talking maybe a darker colored suit with a tie, you're going to not want to pull this off because it's just a little bit too casual. But I think for a man that already has the shoes I've talked about before, this is going to be a great addition to his wardrobe. All right, Jen. So number five on my list, I have to admit, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to say, go back and look at the other shoes I've talked about. Identify the pair that you're getting the most miles out of. The pair that you love, go for a variation. Look at your habits and build off of that. So if you find that you're loving those penny loafers, well, look at a pair of double monk straps or single monk straps. In any case, you know that you like shoes that slip on and off. They work for you when you travel a lot will have another variation so that you can rotate through and you can get the best of both worlds. Another thing, let's say the chuck of boots, you're loving them, but you're finding that you're wearing them mostly with jeans and your sports jacket. And you would like something that, especially when the weather gets really bad, that you get a little bit more traction. So you look at a pair of dress boots that actually have a rubber sole. Maybe you're made from a combat boot design. At the same time, when you look at these, they're, these look good. These look stylish. They maybe have a contrasting leather in them. They've got the broguing we've talked about before. I want to hear from you guys down in the comments. Put them in order. Let me know what are your top five shoes. How would you have changed this up? What else would you have added to this? And as a final reminder, I want you guys to go check out Jay Orocha. Don't forget, use code RMRS for an amazingly deep discount. The reason he's able to do that is he owns the factory. And I've worked with him to design these shoes right here so that you can go in there and you can pre-order these and you're going to get them at an amazing price. And don't forget that lifetime sole guarantee. No other company that I know of does anything like that. And he does it because he's trying to build up this brand. He's trying to gain new customers and it's not going to be something they're going to do forever. So definitely go check these out. Guys, that's it. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.